The classic definition of winning is beating others. But the truth is, true winning is about performing to the highest of our abilities. In sports and in life, we need to understand that winning is not always about finishing on top, but about surpassing yourself, about getting more out of yourself than you ever thought you could. I'm Vince Hezon, and I have three points to tell you about winning. Let me tell you about NSD. What does winning mean to you? The truth is you can win without being first, and you can actually lose even after coming out on top. Think about this, a person can be more successful in life, but if that person does not reach his full potential, did that guy really win? My basketball journey has taken me so many places. It started in California, went to the Philippines, and sort of ended up back in the United States. It started at Modern Day High School, went to Cypress College, went to Boise State University, went to Biola University, came across the Pacific to Ateneo, went to Burger Machine in the PBL, was drafted by Pure Foods in 94 into the PBA, went to Hinebra where I learned all about NSD under legendary coach Sonny Jaworski, went to Iloilo in the NBA, went to Red Bull back in the PBA, played for the national team where I won some gold medals, and then I finally went to the USBL where I played for the Pennsylvania Valley Dogs. I've won a few accolades. I was the MVP of the Orange Empire Conference. I was all state in the whole state of California. I'm a four-time PBA champion. I was the 1997 Mythical Five member at Shooting Guard. I won gold medals with the SEA Games and SEABA for our national team. And I'm the very first Filipino to play professionally in the United States in the USBL where we also won a national championship. It's been a good ride. But let me tell you what I learned in Hinebra. This is where I learned all about NSD. This was a very defining chapter in my life. I was able to fulfill my potential and was able to really surpass myself and really win using NSD. Basketball fans, especially in the Philippines, know NSD as never say die. Here, let me give you a different take on NSD that will help you win not only in basketball, but in life. N is for nurture. S is for self-actualization, and D is for determination. So let's talk about nurture. In Hinebra, Coach Sonny Jaworski had a unique relationship with all of us, and because he invested so much time with us, he had a big influence on all of us. And because of that, we responded very well, and we were able to surpass a lot of things we thought we could never do. It was a nurturing environment in Hinebra. Our values were very similar. We were team members, and not only team members, we were like family together. We trusted each other. We had the same goals, very lofty goals, and we kept raising the bar. In short, we were satisfied with our working environment and we were willing to go to war with each other to get those Ws. This reminds me of 1 Thessalonians 5.11 where it says, encourage one another. We had that, we encouraged each other and we were able to win on the court and win in life. Self-actualization was a huge factor for us in Hinebra we realized that we actually had more in ourselves than we really thought we had in the beginning. On our team, we had different guys who did different things. And they really were amazing at their jobs. Like for example, you have a guy like Noli Loxin, who was the number one pick. Amazing character, so strong, could do basically anything he wanted on the court inside. Then you had a guy like Marlo, who's so tall. You don't expect Marlo to shoot three pointers, but man, he could dominate inside. I was the guy who basically just opened up things for guys on the inside. That's all I did. I shot my shots, drove a little, that was my role. Baldavid was our speedster. He had the turbo going. That guy could really fly. You put all of those together, I think you have a pretty good core on uh, different roles sort of coming together and being one cohesive team. We also had ownership for triumphs and our problems. We didn't blame each other for anything. In fact, we were accountable to each other. My third point is about determination. And for this, let's look at the Bible. In James chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, it says, When trouble comes your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Attitude is the key to building a winning culture. You could say that your attitude determines your altitude. Attitude is really a winning attribute. People say that luck, skills, knowledge, etc., hard work even, 
These are all winning attributes that you need to have. But let me show you this. If A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and so on and so forth. If you spell luck and you add up the numbers that correspond to each letter, you get 12 plus 21 plus 3 plus 11, this equals 47, or you say 47%. With skills, it comes out to 82% if you add all those numbers up. Knowledge comes close at 96%. Hard work, even better at 98%. But is with attitude, spell it out, add up the numbers, you get 100%. It is our attitude towards life and work that makes life 100%. In Hinebra, the key things that we had was that attitude that really helped us to become more determined. If you lack determination because you don't have the right attitude, everything becomes meaningless. The never say die attitude that we were known for existed because we were so determined. If you take the attitude and the determination, you can't separate the two. They're very intertwined. The NSD or never say die that I learned from Hinebra helped me with my NSD in life. Having a nurturing environment, going through a self-actualization journey and being determined. This is how I was able to win and perform to the highest of my abilities. And here's an and one for you, remember this. Only God knows the limits of your potential and He has so much purpose for you. You cannot reach the full potential of your attributes apart from God. So to really win on life, be on God's team. I'm Vince Hezon and these are my three points.